guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. It's Tuesday, which means it's time for another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. And this week, I've got a good one for you. This is a literal tool out of my toolbox, something that has just made its way in. And this is the non-contact voltage tester from Klein Tools. Alright guys, real quick before we dive in, the sponsor of this week's video is the Workshop Podcast. If you haven't checked it out, it's hosted by yours truly. Three episodes a week talking about preparedness, freedom, independence, tools, and everything else. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below. Check it out and also join us for the twice weekly live stream workshop episodes Thursday and Sunday evening 7 p.m. Mountain and 9 p.m. Eastern. All right guys so this week I want to talk to you about this exact tool. In a minute we'll cut to some up close footage showing you exactly how this thing works but I got to tell you I don't know why I didn't buy one of these years ago. This again came from one of my long slow walks through Home Depot and I was at the point where I was like you know what I want to buy something but I haven't found anything I want. And I went through the electrical section and I said, you know what I really need is one of these so that I stop having to guess whether a wire is live or not. And the very first job I went and used this on, it paid for itself. I had a GFCI plug and an exterior light over at a rental that was defective, not working, wasn't really sure what was going on. And in the past, if I went there, the first thing I would do of course, is bring some sort of, sort of like lamp or something that I could plug in and see, okay, is that plug working? Nope, all right, so where is the power issue? And then I would trace it back and I would go back and I would see, okay, where do I have power, where do I don't? Uh, maybe I'd touch something with a um, screwdriver just to see if I got, you know, or I would turn the uh, main breaker off and then I would just change out everything. Anyway, and, and for those of you who use these, you know, the, you know, I don't need to extol the benefits to you, but to me, this thing was incredible. I basically just went along the wire where the conduit was, opened it up, touched it, had power, went to the plug. Oh, I did have power. It was just loose. Then followed it up, had power at the junction box, followed it up again, no power at the uh, dual lamp holder. So I knew that was where my problem was. And also the switch was broken, but it was still active and working. So I was able to eliminate a ton of guesswork and it makes it a whole hell of a lot safer. The model number of this little beast is the NCVT3P made by Klein Tools. It has a 4.8 rating out of 1100 reviews on Amazon and right now it's just under 29 bucks US on Amazon.com. It has a uh, 12 to 1000 volt range and there's actually a high sensitivity and a low sensitivity range. This is all AC. A lot of people ask, does it do DC voltage? No, it does not. So if you want to be able to get within, say, an inch and a half, use the high sensitivity, the 12 volt range up to 1000. If you want to be in a little bit closer and you don't want, say, a low voltage wire to kind of get it going, then you switch to the 70 to 1000 volt range. Um, I'll show you all the different features, the, the light as we're, when we get up close here. Just under two ounces in weight, just under six inches in length, handy dandy pocket clip, and something I thought was kind of funny, for what it's worth, Klein Tools brags about being an American founded company, but then when you check this out, it says made in China. I don't know, it is what it is. Anyway, let's pull in close and we'll talk about this and you can see exactly how it works. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys an up-close look at this, something I don't do very often, but this is such an awesome gadget. I wanted to show you how it works. So here we are. Let's take this apart first. We'll show you where the batteries go in. Like I said, it's IP67 rated, which means it's good for up to three feet underwater for 30 minutes. It takes AAA batteries, comes with these no-name guys. As soon as they die, I'm going to replace them with my Aniloop Panasonic batteries, which is great. Uh, just under six inches long and just under two ounces in weight. It's about the size of a thick Sharpie marker. Here's the tip there I'll show you. Now it's uh, ready to be blinded. There's the light. It's actually a fairly decent LED light. So to turn it on, it's just a quick top right there. So it comes on in high sensitivity mode, which will do 12 volts to 1,000 volts. Click it again, and it goes from 70 to 1,000. It's the... Um, 
not quite as high. It needs to have a higher voltage in order for it to uh, find it or see it, detect it. That's what I'm looking for. And then to turn it off, hold it down. There we go. Now, if you want to turn it on soundlessly, hold it on. And there we go. So now I can hit the button. Nothing beeps. So we'll turn it back off. And I'll show you how this works. Okay, it is now on. So we're in high sensitivity mode. So let's show you right now. So we'll take this. There's the wire. So it's about, let's see, almost two inches, inch and a half away. It starts telling you it detects something. Getting closer and it gives you red. So I like what I like about that is you can follow the wire all the way along. So let's change it into the lower sensitivity. So now, there, pretty much has to be touching it within an eighth to quarter of an inch to get a reading. Now, so let's show you right here what I like about this with the little tips on the end. It'll show you the neutral wire. So nothing. Now we go into this one. We show a hot wire. Ground, of course, nothing. But then if you want to touch it along here, there we go. And then we go back into low sensitivity, or I mean high sensitivity, sorry. And it pretty much picks it up just about anywhere. And that is literally all there is to that. So I hope that uh, up close look shows you a little bit about what it's all about. Well, I hope that helped. Um, I, like I said, I love this thing. If you're looking for an inexpensive, literally could be a life-saving tool, grab yourself one of these. And guys, if you wanna, you know, if you're new here and you wanna find more videos from me, hit that subscribe button, stick around. We got five pieces of content a week, including three episodes of the podcast and two tool review videos every single week. And guys, you know I always appreciate you hanging out with me, so thank you very much. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.